Why is the var keyword considered bad practice? Var is one of the three keywords you can use to declare a variable in JavaScript. However, if you Google on the internet, many people will tell you to not use var. But why? In JavaScript and many other programming languages, there is a concept of scope. Scope is an area where an identifier is accessible. For example, in this code, the variable a is only in the if statement. So the scope of a is within the brackets between the if statement. So why is scope relevant? Let and const are block scoped, meaning whichever block they're inside is where their scope is. So if you declare it in an if statement, you can only access it within that if statement. Here's an example. This code will declare a variable in the if statement and then print it and then try to print it outside of the if statement. Because we attempt to print it outside the if statement, we get a runtime error. However, if we use var, var will function very differently. Var is function scoped, meaning that if you declare within an if statement, you can access it outside. Here's an example. I declare a variable inside the if statement and I'm able to print it outside the if statement. However, another thing it does is called hoisting. Hoisting is when JavaScript will move the declaration of the variable to the top of the function while leaving the definition where you set it. For example, this code will run perfectly fine even though A is technically undefined. This is because in reality, this is what the code's actually doing. Due to these two reasons, JavaScript developers tend to discourage others from using var. This doesn't mean that you can't use var. You can, of course, but let and const do a better job, and there aren't really many cases where var can do something that let and const can't. And the things I mentioned before aren't really good things. They tend to make debugging a lot more difficult. Having something be function scoped by default can introduce a lot of bugs, and hoisting isn't really a good thing. So try to stick with let and const when you declare variables in JavaScript.